everyone, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with a little bonus video for you guys using Cocoa Vanilla Studio products. I'm doing an off the page project today and I'm going to be decorating these two embroidery hoops. And this idea was totally inspired, well, basically completely copied from the amazing Rachel Lowe. She is super, super talented. If you have not checked her out yet, make sure you go and follow her on social media. She's on Instagram and she has a blog. I don't believe she has a YouTube channel, um, but if she does, I will leave all her links in the description box anyway, because she posted an absolutely gorgeous one of these um, just recently, and she's done a couple more since, and I just thought they were such an amazing idea. And of course, being the multiple hobbyist that I am, I have several embroidery hoops in my stash. I think I bought a new one every time I started a new um, embroidery project so I have lots of these in all different sizes so I just went into my collection and pulled out um, a couple of different sizes that I like the look of and I'm going to make one of these for my daughter Violet's room and one of these for my craft room so this larger one I am using more than words collection it's so so stunning and this is going to be for my daughter's room so I've taken the inside hoop out and traced my backing paper using that and I made it just slightly bigger than the inside hoop so that the edge of the paper is going to sit kind of uh, it will fully cover the back of that inside hoop but the edge of the paper will be covered by the outside part of the hoop and the glue I'm using for this is just a plain tacky glue um, it's a no-name one from Officeworks it it seems to work just fine so there we go I put the hoops together and I have wound the little screw up as tight as it will go so it holds it together and then glue the paper on the back now I'm going to take some of this trim that I have this one was from spotlight it's just a by the meter spool trim and it's a pink kind of like teeny tiny pom-pom trim it's really pretty so I've just done a bead of tacky glue and I've done quite a thick bead there because it is fabric so I really want it to stick and uh, yeah I had a bit of trouble getting this to stick but it does eventually um, once the glue dries it it has stuck just fine it was just difficult to get it to sit nicely on the edge of that um, embroidery hoop while I was sort of gluing it and moving it but once it's stuck uh, it's it's stuck pretty well so I'm just using my tweezers there to push the bottom part of the trim right into that glue and make sure it's nice and tight up against it and there's no gaps or sagging bits there we go and now I'm going through what little ephemera I have left from this collection I actually never got the die cut ephemera um, from this collection somehow I don't know how that's possible but um, I didn't I think they were sold out at the time so I just never never got it but I do have the chipboard I pulled out a chipboard floral there and I have all these florals that I fuzzy cut from two of the pattern papers so two of the pattern papers in this collection were nice big beautiful florals so I fussy cut pretty much both of those completely out and I have a big bag of florals as you can see there so I do use that chipboard flower I use this fussy cut flower as well you can see there's a chunk missing from the bottom um, just because of the pattern on the paper but that's fine because I'm going to cover it up with this chipboard floral I'm just peeling off the sticky layer there because of, of course I don't want the sticky on the parts that aren't um, you know glued down that are hanging off the edge of the embroidery hoop because they will collect dust so I just peeled off that top layer of um, chipboard gluing this little floral down underneath and I actually popped the edges of that up on foam for more dimension this gold bow at the top that's just a one out of my stash now I printed this word obviously it's my daughter's name violet out just on my computer I printed it on a nice thick heavy um, silk paper it's the perfume classic font I believe it is called if you want to go look for it but it's really really beautiful I printed it out in gray scale it's a dark gray color that I used for the font because I didn't want it totally stark black and the um, the this collection has a gray in it not a black so there we go I've just fussy cut that out and I'm going to pop it right in the center there I'll have it the swoop on that V overlapping the florals slightly and I'm just going to pop that down with some glue Okay, now I'm going to start going through the rest of the ephemera that I have. I love that deer, but it just didn't fit. I found a flare button. This is actually from the Midnight Collection, that one, um, but it fit just perfectly in there and it's not too obtrusive. Now I'm popping in a couple of bits out of the vellum ephemera pack. There was like a vellum floral 
die cut set that came with this collection. Um, but I've just actually popped those on some white paper. I've glued them onto some white paper and then fussy cut them out just to make them stand out a bit. The vellum's really pretty, but when they're overlaid on top of other florals like this, yeah, you just can't really see it. So from the accessory stickers, I'm using some of these tiny words. I love these. Um, I'm using Beautiful You and My Love. Then I'll pop a couple of butterflies in here just to continue that diagonal across from the floral cluster. And I'm doing my standard every single time I use butterflies technique that I can't help but use. <laughs> uh, popping the wings up on a bit of foam and then just gluing down the body. So there we go. And I haven't glued down the foam. I've left the foam just empty. It's only adhesive on the side that are stuck to the butterfly wings. So that will actually help them sit up even more and be um, really dimensional. So there we go, just a couple of little butterflies there and then I will pop one down in amongst this floral cluster as well. It's a bit undecisive on, indecisive rather, <laughs> on where to place this one but I do end up popping it on top of that larger floral at the top of the cluster. I thought it was just looking a little bit bare and empty so right there, sweet little butterfly. And then just to finish off some enamel dots, I do have the enamel dots from this collection but they're very pastel and the, the, of course the background paper is very pastel as well so I just decided to pull in these sparkly pink and teal ones from uh, they're just from AliExpress I think or eBay and that one is all finished I'm so thrilled with how this turned out it is so pretty and soft and delicate and girly and just so perfect for my daughter's room I can't wait to hang it on the wall I just adore more than words for baby girls it's just my favorite collection ever definitely deserve some hard hands. <laughs> okay moving on to the next one I'm into the unforgettable collection now and this one is a slightly smaller hoop and I'm going to use this in my craft room eventually <laughs> once I uh, put up a hook for it. But I've just gone ahead and done exactly the same thing with the backing paper. I used that uh, peachy pink with the tone on tone florals, uh, kind of sketchy florals in the background. And I pulled out this die cut. I went through the clear stickers and the foam titles uh, trying to find some uh, you know some kind of title but they were all just too big this is a teeny tiny hoop I think it's only 10 centimeters across so I remembered the ephemera pack has this living the dream title in it so I pulled that out and popped it up on some foam I pulled in the tassels and the bows from this collection I'm going to use that cute little pink one at the top I believe Rachel made paper bows for hers and they look amazing I'm just I was way too lazy to pull out my cameo and bother <laughs> so um, you'll see I have that little tassel there I try I, quite a few places to get that in it doesn't make it I just can't uh, I don't know I struggle with those tassels I don't know why I really love them they're so pretty I just I don't know maybe just they're so dimensional I will get them on something eventually <laughs> um, so those feathers are going to make it on there um, I'm going to pretty much where they are but I want to build a little, little bit of a floral cluster first if I can actually speak today <laughs> So I'm going to fussy cut again. These are fussy cut florals from the, I can't remember the name of the paper, but it's the paper with the big florals on it. I love that paper so much. I fussy cut so much off it already. I'm going to take this large pink one and I will add to it in a minute. I'm just kind of fussing and deciding what I want to use. So I'm going to trim out this uh, minty tealy one. I really want some more of that, that bluey green color on this hoop. So I'm just going to overlap those pretty much exactly like that. Uh, but first I want to put my trim down. So I, I tried to find a white pom-pom trim again, but I couldn't. So I just decided to use straight up pom-poms. And these are the teeny tiny mini pom-poms from Daiso. They come in a multi-pack with I think pink, blue, yellow, and purple as well. Um, so I pulled out all the white ones I have left. I used up every single last one <laughs> that I had. And I've left some gaps um, where the floral cluster, cluster are, is going to go. And where the butterflies are going to go because I just didn't have enough. I only just had enough to cover the bits that would show. So that's all I, I needed. You don't know there's no pom-poms under there. <laughs> so I'm just overlaid those florals just like that. I've already glued those down off camera. Pretty sure my battery died. So I'm just popping a bit of glue in behind those feathers, tucking those in between the two flowers. And I'm going to pop down this little, uh, what color is it? Turquoise? keep saying tealy blue light teal it's turquoise I'm pretty sure so this little turquoise butterfly <laughs> goes there I'm just trimming off that little leaf off that floral cluster because I wanted to tuck my title down a little bit further lower <laughs> um, it was just yeah a bit too high for me it was throwing me off so 
I tried to use that white butterfly. It's, uh, it was just a little bit too big. I wanted a bit of size variation. So I've gone into the six by eight paper stack and cut. First I cut out one of these teeny tiny little butterflies. So I chose the pink one and I'm just going to overlap those just a little bit like that. I didn't pop the wings up on foam because they're hanging off the edge of the hoop. So there's nothing for the foam to sit up on. I did fold them in the middle though. So they look a little bit fluttery. Bit of glue behind my title there and then I obviously put in that little butterfly flare so I'm I don't need to bring in a third butterfly now I love these flare oh they're so pretty the flare buttons in this collection a couple of tiny word stickers below my title life is good and love it I think it is <laughs> try again with that tassel <laughs> and then I gave up yeah I just accepted at that point so I'm going to do two clusters of three of enamel dots because there wasn't room for a third cluster on this tiny hoop and that's my project finished. I love this one as well. I love how both these turned out. I'm just so thrilled with the whole idea and the whole concept and they just came together beautifully and easily and it was such a fun little extra project to do that was outside of my comfort zone. So thank you so much for joining me today and don't forget to go check out the Coco Vanilla Studio blog and Rachel's pages. Everything will be linked below and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.